Hey, this is Dr. Pat. We're playing with what we call the difference quotient today. So that's what we'll be playing with. Just kind of the term you might see in, in a calculus class before we get into derivatives. So this whole thing here is a um, is the formula for slope. Okay, so this really just stands for uh, notation it's just for slope rates of change and uh, could be a secant or a tangent depends on the value the interval value that's the H right there and what we have over here is a um, I started off with the function I, uh, there's some f of x function you start off with it we don't know that and then we end up with this kind of expression here actually I have to be honest with you I made up all these numbers but that's what would happen we, we start off with a function and we do all that notation the difference quotients here we do all the algebra plug the x plus h into this do the differences and then divide the h so all that algebra is done and here's the result that I have again I made these numbers up just for this example here this problem Okay, so what we have here is a formula for slope. This is a formula for slope. Just keep that in your mind, formula for slope. This is not the original formula. The original f of x was not given, so this is just the formula. All right, so we got x's and h's in this. X's is the beginning x value. That's where we're talking about if we're looking at a graph, graph where we're on the graph h is the interval size so interval all right so interval size that's the distance between the two x values when we're making the slope form a slope formula okay so here's what we got going is the question is actually find x so we don't know the x we're going to try and find it and we're looking for the average rate of change now when i see the words average rate of change i'm thinking to myself dude that's secant okay so I'm looking for the slope of a secant line that's what I'm trying to find here where does it happen and then I also have this expression right here that triangle X equals 4 Delta X equals 4 that's the change in X that's also the interval size okay so change of X interval uh, interval that's what we're playing with the, another way of saying this using the letter up here this is the same thing as h is equal to four <clears throat> okay so we're looking for slope a secant we've got an interval size an h value of four and see this is word right here that's just a nice way for us to say equals so eight right here that's actually the slope it's not the x value that's the slope why do I know it's not the x value is because we're trying to find the x and these math questions are not that easy that they'll give you the answer right in the question okay so our slope is 8 so that means here's my formula for slope I'm gonna set it equal to 8 and then hopefully solve for x with the other thing is I'm gonna plug 4 in for h so right now I am playing with the idea that I got 1.5 x squared plus that 1.5 uh, X and now I know my H's value that's 4 and then plus 0 0.5 H squared plug it in 4 for that H minus 30 X minus 15 times H which is 4 plus 150 and of course I'm setting that equals to 8 all right, so that's what I'm playing with. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply that 4 through all the coefficients and combine like terms. So when I do that, I'm going to end up with 1.5x squared minus 24x and then plus 98 equals 8. All right, so just kind of getting all the like terms together in that. And then let's bring that 8 over to the other side. So really what I'm playing with is 1.5x squared minus 24x plus 90, 90 equals 0. And then I'm going to do the quadratic formula on this puppy because I want to figure out that x value. So just do quadratic formula. And when I do that, I'm going to get, so what am I going to get? I'm going to get two x values. That's usually what happens with the quadratic formula. Usually, not always, but usually. I'm going to get the uh, the answers of 6 and 10 for my quadratic formula to solve this equation right here. And the 
they gave me uh, which one to choose to choose the number between 8 and 12 so I'm going to take this one right here and that is my final answer right there okay <clears throat> So let's just recap really quickly. What we have here is a formula for slope. So this big, huge, long thing is the formula for slope because that's what this expression on the left-hand side represents. It's called the difference quotient, which basically means graphically calculates the slope for, uh, for us. Uh, change of y's over change of x's. H is the change of x's interval. And so what we're asked to find is find the x value when average rate of change, just a lot of words basically saying slope of the secant line. I've got a delta x equals 4, which means h is 4 for my formula. So I'm going to plug in 4 for all these h's right here. And then this is 8. This is really saying the average rate of change is 8 with this special feature of delta x equals 4. So that's the equals 8 part. So this is really saying slope equals 8. Make an equation. Find the x value. And that's what I got. I got all here on the left-hand side is me putting the slope formula equals to 8 because 8 the slope. And then it's just crunching out the numbers and algebra and quadratic formula from that point on. Okay. Hopefully this helps. Take care. Have a good day.